Hey guys, Buggyman here. Today I'll be showing you a little bit of Grand Theft Auto 5 of what you get physically, not in game. Um, let's start off with the box, what you get in the box. So, obviously, you get the box, Grand Theft Auto 5, unless you get it from like, I don't know, Best Buy or something like that. I got from mine from GameStop. Go to GameStop. Best quality service I've ever had. Um, you get two discs. One's downloadable. One's eight gigabytes of downloadable content, and then one is the actual disc you play on. The eight gigabyte content is for graphics and that stuff. You get the Los Santos map. It gives you a little list of what you get to do, and places to go, and hidden weapon trade and stuff. I pre-ordered it, so I did get the Atomic Blimp. So, that might just be in the first shipment that they have. That everybody gets it, because my friends have it, and they have pre-ordered it. I don't know how that works. You'll also get this little handy guide. Little guide. Shows you what the controls do. Now, this will be for PlayStation Xbox 3, which is out. So if you're looking on getting it and you're not sure which one you want to get it for, I would recommend 360, but then again, that's a personal opinion. That's just my recommendation. All rights are reserved for Rockstar Games. Um, I did not get approved to use the GameStop name, so not sure how that's going to work out. But they do have good service, trust me. I go there at least once a week just to talk to people who work there and then... After an hour, they say I have to leave because I'm loitering. So, yeah, hope you enjoy a little backstory and on the side, a little game review. But, yes, I do give the game a uh, 9 out of 10. That one star is for parental reasons. I have asked around my neighborhood, around my school, how do you feel about it? The parents say it's not good because of the language and the sex parts about it. All the kids say it's great. They don't have to curse so much. Because they just curse when it's unnecessary. Name. But that's just their opinion and I do not agree with that. I don't feel like you should be judged upon how you speak. So leave me a comment down below if you have the game and you enjoyed it and how you feel about the whole cursing and sexual content situation. Leave a like, subscribe. See you next time.